Kalina Blavatsky, Alyssa Crawley, Baphomet, The Beast, Alejandro Jodorowsky. All right, all these names are associated not only with the Order of the Golden Dawn, but with tarot. And the reason why I'm bringing this is because I was someone that thought that tarot was something just innocent, just, you know, a way to kind of get intuitive messages. And it does that. But a reason why it gives off very powerful energy and you're able to get deep messages and insight that no other way you would be getting is because it is a tool of the occult. All right. And so I've been set free from it. And it's something that I never even thought in a million years that I would even ever consider dealing with tarot. I was told early on as a child to stay away from it. But, you know, as children, we can be hard headed. And when I became an adult and I think it was around 2020, that's when I began to start looking at tarot readings, especially with everything that was going on around 2019, 2020. And then I began to dabble with them myself. I got my own cards and something deep within my soul never allowed me to go beyond reading for myself. I never, although I got a lot of offers that was tempting. You know, people wanted me to read for them. I even got offers for partnerships. But something in my heart and soul was like, no, don't go any further. All right. And so I share this because... Sometimes we are aligning ourselves with things and we don't understand how deep and sinister they are. And although for me personally, I was using tarot and I was saying that although I'm someone spiritual, you know, I believe in the most high, you know, I prayed over my cars. Yeah. And there's people that do that. I prayed over them. I thought that, okay, if I use this tool for good then that makes all the difference but scripture warns us about these things and this is why although we in the world sin is tempting things that are sinful things that are meant for nefarious reasons have a way of trying to deceive us okay and so let's go to the scripture we have proverbs 4 14 and 15 do not enter the path of the wicked do not walk in the way of evil avoid it do not go on it turn away from it and pass on and i share this because even though i always knew to kind of stay away from tarot just that rebellious spirit that rose up in me as an adult was like i'm an adult i can do what i want that is something else that we fall in victim to because we see a lot of this in society i'm going to include some pictures of clothing that's dedicated to the work of Alistair Crowley and he speaks about do what you want okay and so these things are so ubiquitous in our society that it is as if it is liberating to do as you want to do whatever else you see other people doing and that may not be your angle okay I'm sure this is going to resonate differently for others and some people may not resonate some people may get offended but because I was someone that, although I may not have had a huge platform when it came to tarot, something was holding me back for a reason. And a lot of times people get involved with tarot too because it not only gives you an insight into aspects of what is to come, we don't understand the power behind it. Because yeah, you are you are in a way getting addicted to it because you are using occult divination tools and if this is something that is heralded by the likes of helena brofosky and alistair crowley and alejandro jordowski hopefully i'm saying the names correctly but you get the gist these are the same people that are aligned with satan lucifer all right, so I'm going to share a few other scriptures that may free you. And that is 1 Corinthians um, 10, 21. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord in the cup of demons. Amen. And so as I mentioned too, in my silliness, I was thinking, oh, okay, well, I have good intentions. I'm going to take this tool that a lot of individuals are really using for the occult, using for witchcraft, using 
in a very nefarious way, I'm going to use it for positivity. But scripture warns us to not enter the path of that that is wicked. It came, it, it, it derived from wicked origins. It came from wicked origins. And so to think that just because I'm using, I'm speaking about God, I'm praying over the cards that is somehow going to make it any different. The scriptures are set up this way for a reason because when I began to have these cars around me, I began to notice paranormal things happening that wasn't happening before. And another aspect of this too is how it binds you because you can get insight from these cards and it will become somewhat addictive to the point where you keep referring to it instead of having faith about instead of going to God, you go to the cards. And so it's also a form of idol worship. Let's go with 1 Samuel 15, 23. For rebellion is as the sin of divination and presumption is as inequity and idolatry. Because you have rejected the word of the Lord, he has also rejected you from being king. All right. So many of you too, if you allow yourself, and again, to each his own, you may have your own perspective, but I'm just saying, when you know better, you do better. I had to find out better. And when you are feeling like something is stagnant in your life, you may need to check what it is that you're doing. You could be holding yourself up from breakthroughs, from blessings happening in your life because you're holding on to things that are completely against what God wants for you, what the creator, the most high wants for you. And so I want to also share that another thing that made me really decide to just completely stop messing with looking at tarot um, participating in tarot was i had a dream and the dream was very much like so convicting within my heart and soul i was sitting at a table in the dream and i had all these cards out and then demons manifested and i was so afraid in the dream and i remember praying please help me dear god please help me and the presence of God appeared and said, this is witchcraft, get rid of it. And immediately I woke up and the dream felt so real. I was so convicted and I went ahead and got a box, packed everything up and got rid of everything. And I did not, you know, I was uncertain about if I wanted to share that on my platform, you know, about how I was delivered from this rebellious spirit of participating with tarot like I was really lost I was so aloof of thinking that you know it's fun because what what the reason why I was reluctant to share this because there is a lot of people that not only um look at tarot there's a lot of people that have great incomes off tarot however it is an occult tool of divination of of alchemy of magic and it's something that scripture forbids us from there's other scriptures in regard to avoiding psychics and fortune telling but i digress i'm not going to go into all that today however i have a responsibility if there's something that the most high is revealing to me about the most low it's important for me to go ahead and share it to get it off my heart because i literally cannot like when I was thinking about making other content that keeps coming to mind, like I got that in my backlog. I need to go ahead and share, you know, why I'm no longer participating in tarot. And, um, you know, hopefully it frees some of you because the things of the world may seem entertaining, may seem fun, and it may seem like a lot of people are doing it, but it doesn't mean that you have to participate in it as well. And furthermore, yes, you could be someone like myself. You may have your God-given gifts and abilities to be very intuitive you may even have prophetic dreams and visions but uh, however to take part of divination rituals and and things that have sigils like i mentioned about alistair crawley and and um helena blavosky they have sigils in the tarot and the sigils summon and bring about demons so be very careful and i wish you well in letting this go and moving forward in your life repent and be set free.